The new Intel Core Ultra CPUs are now out in the wild and they're readily available at your local Micro Center. But that's only half the equation when looking for a next-gen upgrade. There's the motherboard to consider. To unlock the full potential of a new Intel Core 9 285K, you should pair it off with a motherboard that has plenty of lanes, features, and overclocking abilities, like this Asus ROG Maximus Z890 Hero motherboard. With the Z890 chipset, Wi-Fi 7, CU DIMM support, simultaneous Gen 5 support on the GPU and SSD, this board packs a lot for the best-in-class PC experience. With the new Intel Core Ultra CPUs comes a new socket with the LGA1851. So this won't work with any previous Intel chips, just the current generation of Core Ultras. But fortunately, the dimensions and mounting hole spacings are the exact same as the LGA1700, so you can still use any LGA1700 cooler with this board. There's four DIMM slots that can handle DDR5 memory, up to 192 gigabytes in total. There's NitroPath DRAM technology, which is an improved DRAM slot that offers better performance for overclocking, stability, and improved retention force, so the RAM will never be loose in the slot. Now let's be honest, most blue screen issues can be fixed with a quick reseeding of the RAM, and this will help reduce that need. CU DIMM support also signals that the board is ready for future higher clocked memory. PCIe lanes are another big factor with this motherboard. With the new Core Ultra 200 series CPU, you have full Gen 5 speeds available for the GPU and Gen 5 SSD slot simultaneously. And that's just the start. With six total M2 slots, three Gen 5 slots, and three Gen 4 slots, there's plenty of room for SSDs on this board. With the slim SAS slot, you can even add additional M2 storage with an adapter. The M2 slots have some of my favorite quality of life features offered by ASUS, with the Q release on this large heatsink for the Gen 5 M2 slot at the top, and the Q slide, which allows you to fit any size M2 and is essentially effortless to use. The rest of the M2 slots have the Q latch, which easily fits the M2, and all of the M2 slots below the main Gen 5 slot share a large heatsink panel that's held on with four screws. Networking all around is very strong, with 2.5 gig and 5 gig ethernet ports available, ideal for high-speed connection to get the most out of your ISP bandwidth or high-speed transfers in your home lab environment. If you have a Wi-Fi 7 router, then you'll get the best wireless speeds and reliability, though Wi-Fi 7 will only work with Windows 24 H2. Rear IO is also packed with two Thunderbolt 4 ports, five USB 10 gigabit per second ports, four type A and one type C, four USB five gigabit per second ports, all of which are type A. Then there's the BIOS flashback button, clear CMOS button, HDMI port, Wi-Fi antenna hookups, and optical SPDIF for audio, as well as gold-plated line-out and mic-in audio jacks. For front USB, there's the 20 gigabit per second type C with up to 60 watts of power delivery, one 10 gigabit per second type C port, two five gigabit per second USB headers, and two USB 2.0 headers. There's plenty of fan headers for the CPU and chassis, as well as the AIO pump header and plenty of LED headers. So you can make your ideal build without the need for a fan controller. The ROG Maximus Z890 Hero comes with a plethora of other features, such as a robust cooling for VRM for better overclocking performance, there's the Q codes, the easy start button for bench usage, there's also the AI features available, such as ASUS AI Advisor, AI overclocking, AI networking, AI cooling, and an NPU boost feature in the BIOS to overclock the NPU, which will give you increased performance for AI applications. This board really crams everything that you need for high-end usage into a simple package. And it looks nice too. You can check out the ASUS ROG Maximus Z890 Hero motherboard at your local Micro Center, and you can browse our wide selection of motherboards to fit your ideal build. What would you pair with this Z890 Hero? Let us know in the comments below. As always, stop by your local Micro Center, and if you don't have a Micro Center, comment hashtag I want a Micro Center near me.